Well, this morning we're off on a National Park ferry to the Dry Tortugas. It's 7.30 in the morning, by the way. There are some pretty boats in this harbor. Well, here's Fort Jefferson from the water. Name for Thomas Jefferson. Here's the boat we came over on. Holds over 200 people. Today we had about 150. This is another way to get over here instead of the two hours by boat. You can fly in. Now the birds are sure having a fit. The seaplane riled them up. <laughs> about a hundred square mile park and the majority of it's underwater. You're standing on Garden Key and that's the home of the drive of the uh, Fort Jefferson. Well, which history book you read, it's about 12 or 13 acres. This is around a 16 acre island. So the fort takes up the majority of that. Nice gate or sally port into the fort. And it's surrounded by a moat they don't allow swimming in the moat and when soldiers were stationed out here in the early days it unfortunately turned into a big sewer system. But this is called a Sally Port. Sally Port means it's a secure entrance. And if you look it up and where it's derived from, one of them says French, one of them says Spanish, so you know, whichever one you speak, you know, go with that one. If, you, if this place had become operational, and remember it never did, this fort was never completed, and you had wanted to attack this place, this is probably where you would have come. But it was designed to have a 70-foot moat, a big drawbridge, and two massive doors that would have gone right here. And you can see the door lintel right here where the door would have hung. That's what the door rolled on. It had wheels, and it was super thick. So let's say that you were going to attack this place. First, you had to get across the moat, still got cannons and guns firing at you. You had to get the drawbridge down. Then you had to get through that great big door right there. And when you did that, now you're in this room and you're up against another great big door. See all the exploring around in Florida. Ponce de Leon. He sailed out here and he found the Tortugas. And at the time, it was 11 little small islands. And they were all just sand and a few mangroves and uh, some cactus. And those two from the 40s to the 60s. All this tan colored bricks, it came from Pensacola, Florida. So, what happened in 1861? There up, the red bricks all came from a place called Brewer, Maine. So, the bricks at the bottom, it took about two days to get here by ship, of the day, remember that day. The red bricks took two weeks. You'll think that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Right? You know, in, a, in a ship of the 1860s and, and 70s, that's that's still pretty good in my the officers' barracks. That was actually the first building we got here. Now, behind us over here, you saw you might have noticed there was another of them. That would have been the enlisted man's barracks. They built them inside in here, and they were three three-story structures, all brick and all pretty small rooms. And furnace. And the way it worked, you can see it's got a rail in this end. And those uh, objects down the side, they're holding the rail up on the inside. So you got a rail that runs down. And the idea is you put cannonballs in there and lined them up and filled the rail up. Then you built a big hot fire in there. And when those cannonballs were glowing red, you took one of them from the opening on the lower end and you ran over here and put it in a cannon and you fired it at a wooden ship. The idea being to catch it on fire. Hey, I'm going to take a little trip. <laughs> I got a boat already. This, this is one of the boats, that, and they come up here from time to time that people are trying to escape Cuba. Now, I don't know how long that's been here, but it's, it's, it hasn't been here for just a couple of years. But he designed that. Now, the way it works, You've got your cannon sitting here and it's ready to fire. And you roll it up against those doors. And you 
light the cannon off. And what's supposed to happen is those doors, the hot gas and the air coming ahead of the cannonball, blows those doors open, cannonball goes through it, and then they're so balanced that they slam shut so that people on that side, you know, they're shooting back at you. <laughs> so one way. That's what that's for. <laughs> the one way. Jefferson was a, a military prisoner. And most of the prisoners that were kept here were kept actually over in the south or in those areas over there. Long dress. So can you imagine uh, probably a day like this or in the evening in the, in the summertime. It's good out there. I'm sure they were not happy. Now they would get so tired of living in this prison that they would sail back to uh, they take a boat back to Key West for a touch of civilization, they called it. Y'all been on Duval Street? This could shoot about three miles. Now the, that's a 15 inch Rodman. And these Rodmans and these Parrots are just named after the guys that, that develop them. But that cannon is on a reproduction carriage. That's the way it probably would have looked in 1860 or whenever it's mounted. Think... These were the officers' quarters, and they were pretty decrepit in the early 60s, and they just tore them down. Over here, the Park Service people still live. These were restored. Big fort. And now there's people snorkeling down here in this beautiful clear water. There's a nice ship. And there's a lighthouse on a little tiny piece of land. Okay, this is one of four magazines, the only one that's still here where they stored the ammunition. Over there is a lighthouse that was built in the 30s using um, boiler steel. Same thing they use on the ironclad ships and on the boilers of trains. This is Fort Zachary Taylor. It's at the right next door to the Navy base where we're staying. And over here a little further is a Coast Guard cutter that's um, open for tours. There's the Key West waterfront. Nice boat and the red roof is the museum. Along here people are starting to congregate to watch the sunset. Step back. They're headed out for their Anybody sunset move cruise. Don't have to move along that rail. They don't have Friday, February 8th, and we are leaving the Truman Annex of NAS Key West. There's someone out riding his bike early in the morning. These are the nice houses. It's called the Truman Annex with the Truman White House down the street. But these are a little more pricey than where we stayed. Typical little Key West cottages. 